And our final contender, please. And I feel slightly foolish asking you this, but your name is? Ken Dodd. Your chosen charity? Parkinson's. And your chosen subject? Comedians who performed in variety. In 90 seconds, starting now, which comedy partnership had their first television series in 1954? They'd made their name in variety theatre and radio and had performed together as a double act since the age of 15. Morecambe and Wise. Yes. What completed the comedian Ken Platt's trademark catchphrase, I won't take my coat off? I'm not stopping. Yeah. One of Tommy Cooper's infamous gags was the way he often tipped taxi drivers. What would he slip into the driver's top pocket with the invitation, have a drink on me? They say it's a tea bag. <laughs> yes. Which comedian made an early public appearance as a choir boy at the consecration of the Lady Chapel of Liverpool Anglican Cathedral? Arthur Askey. Yes. What was the comedian Sandy Powell's catchphrase from his days on the radio? Can you hear me, Mother? Yes. Which comedian played the talkative short one alongside her tall friend, Cynthia? She'd include some of the catchphrases, such as, she knows you know. Hilda Baker. Yes. Frank Randall was noted for playing lecherous drunks. Which of his personal items was he known to throw at hecklers in the audience? Probably a beer bottle on a pint glass. <laughs> it was his false teeth. Oh. <laughs> Les Dawson came to public attention on opportunity knocks with lines such as, tonight I would like to play something by Chopin, but I won't because... He never plays any of mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which comedian who had been a professional musician in his native Austria played the violin as part of his act? He was also the very first castaway on Desert Island Discs. Uh, Vic Oliver? Yes. Of which football club was the comedian Tommy Trinder the chairman? F Fulham. Fulham Football Club is correct. Ken, you had no passes. You got nine points. Five points. <laughs> the first round done. Let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with three points, Lizzie Arnold. Third place with nine points, Ken Dodd. Second place, ten points, Ore Duba. In first place with 11 points, <laughs> Alex Riley. And now, Ken Dodd. Oh, well. Please, uh, your indeed. turn for this one, Ken. Well, let's see how talk <laughs> Now, look, let me ask you what is probably an impossible I, question, I never it... lend money to, to people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll try another one in that case. What makes a joke funny? A joke is like a little one-act play. They, they contain different... Uh, they contain emotion. They can, sometimes it's just word play, uh, puns. You can get buttered puns, you can get shredded wit. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. A, a joke can be a story with, with, a, with an end to it. But then you get another kind of joke, which what, what, uh, I don't want to get anybody excited. They're called quickies. Oh, I can't tell you that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you've got. You're not in the first flush of youth. I mean, you're the first what? Yes, you're 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 good, you're you're, um, you're in your eighties. Oh, that kind of a flush. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're you're in your eighties. You've got shows booked until the middle of next year. Yes, true. Are you just going to keep going on and on? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, you, you couldn't have given any other answer. Well done. Th Ken, thank you very much for that. Now, you have um, got nine points. So, let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. Two minutes, starting now. The fictional detective Sherlock Holmes, created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, lives at number 221B on which London street? Baker Street. Yes, what phrase completes Kenneth Wollstenholme's commentary on the closing moments of the 66 World Cup final? Some people are on the pitch, they think it's all over. Uh, they think it's all over, but it, it isn't. It is now, is what he it actually is now. Said. It is now. What did the Royal and Ancient Golf Club at St Andrews agree to do in September 2014 for the first time in its 260 year history? 
to allow ladies to tee off. Yes, indeed. Which 65 chart topper for Sonny and Cher features the lines, they say our love won't pay the rent before it's earned, our money's all been spent? I got you, babe. Yes. Which member of the coalition cabinet, a former leader of the Conservative Party, has a great-grandmother who was a member of a distinguished Japanese samurai clan? Uh, a Japanese samurai? Uh, well, I'll be, I'll be quite... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, we'll put... Michael... Uh, Michael um... No, Ian Duncan Smith, but... Was he Ian Duncan? Who knew? Yeah. Quite. What kind of mythical creature has been played by Glynis Johns in the 1948 film Miranda and by Daryl Hannah in the 84 film Splash? A mermaid? Yes. Which peninsula lies between the estuaries of the Dee and the Mersey? Peninsula, do you know the Anglesey? No, they, they could take that, but it's probably the Wirral. The French surrealist Marcel Duchamp made a cheap postcard-sized reproduction of a painting by Leonardo da Vinci to which he added a moustache and a goatee beard. Which painting was it? Mona Lisa. Yes, what method of restarting a game in rugby union is the equivalent of a throw-in in football? Uh, so, um, um, uh, no, um, um, a chuck-in. No, line out. The islands of Gozo and Comino are part of which Mediterranean country? The island of Gozo and Comino. Gozo, it's a, in, in Mediterranean. Um... Yeah, so think of a Mediterranean island, a big one. It's, uh, it's, uh, Malta. Yes, Malta is correct. Ken, you have scored a total of 15 points. Yeah.